He likes that sunshine. He likes them bright shoes. He's Eric Schaefer. Gonna bring you the news. Gonna bring you the news. Is that right? Yeah. yeah and that like one it. rhymed. I like it. That one actually rhymed. Our it chief was... correspondent, Easy Schaefer. Easy Schaefer. Well, I... Gonna bring you the news. Kind of guilted. Kind of guilted. <laughs> Othie and to write me a song this week. Where's I like, my song? I'm not really any of those things. But okay. I feel like my songs when I haven't written them are much better than when I have written them. But <laughs> who knows? Um, You're an impromptu songstress. That kind of happens. So not a lot happening right now. Not a lot of news, but a few things to go over. Um, I'm going to save casting till the end. But So we're talking about streaming services. We've been doing that for a while. And Apple TV just kind of announced their lineup and what yeah, they're going to Yeah, I saw offer. that. They were really pushing it on on football this week. A weekend. lot of football. That's where I kind of read into it. And it's not that bad. It's five bucks a month. Like that Dickinson yeah. series looks pretty good. So you want me... I'll give you a list of the, the upcoming shows. Emily Dickinson? Yeah. Emily Dickinson? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's a series about uh, based off of her life. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So yeah. here, here's like their headliners, if you will. For five bucks a month, you'll get what's called The Morning Show, starring Steve Carell and Jennifer Aniston, which is about a morning show. But, but it also has... Who else is in that? Also has... Who else is in that? Uh, oh, so that's like a series? Yeah, these are all series okay. I'm going to list um, here. It's got that's Applegate cool. in it too, right? Oh, Christina, Christina Applegate? Apple, Apple, okay. She was in the preview I saw this weekend. You're right. She was in that. Yeah. I forgot about that. Um, I'm not sure. It's obviously about a news team in the morning, but I don't know if it's going to be it like Ron Burgundy. <laughs> that, it's American it, comedy drama. So it'll series. be a comedy, Cause, comedy. Because mm-hmm. Newsroom, did you guys ever watch that on HBO? No, that was a great show. Mm-hmm. Um, they're also going to have a, mo- a show called C. Oh, it's S- got Reese Witherspoon in it. Reese as well. Witherspoon. Oh, That's who it is. Not, not Billy Crudup. Sorry, who? Mark Duplass. Billy Crudup. You've Crudup. Uh, You've okay, seen him yeah. in a lot of stuff. Yeah. We've got a show called C, which is a post starring Jason Momoa. These are about the only headliner I've seen oh, in my that. Wife's gonna C, pick like pick the that capital up. C? It's No, it's S-E-E. S-E-E. Yeah, so I'm not sure what that's about. Um, there's one that I'm excited about called Helpsters, which is basically a big bird if he had his own show. <laughs> that's no joke. Hmm. Um, they've got one called Little Voice. Um, they've got one called Little Voice. It's a half-hour comedy series that we don't know a lot about, but J.J. Abrams is producing and directing it. So that could okay. be interesting. I've never seen him do comedy other than the sci-fi. The more you talk about this, the less I want to watch it. It gets this. okay. How about this? This one looks really good. It's called The Fall for All Mankind. And basically the theory on that one, mankind. And basically the theory on that one, which has got me intrigued, is what if the space race never ended? And they take it from there. Oh, if we were just still going. Still going. What technology would come out of that? Yeah, I'm still I don't I don't know. No, okay. okay, let me hold on. All right. Do you ever watch Impractical Jokers? Have yeah. Well, when they're pitching really terrible ideas, is that what I'm doing? That's what I. That's um, what I feel okay, like I'm okay. Right now. C, uh huh, starring Jason Momoa. Momo, Momo, Momo. Did I say it wrong? No, I think so. I think you said it right. No, I mean, is it C E E or C E? It's C S E E. Okay, that's what I had. That's what I That's what I thought. Because it's based on a dystopian future where everyone on Earth has lost. Uh okay, that wasn't in the synopsis I read. Bird box. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> when did Apple decide they were doing all this? It's been in the works for Apparently a while. Apparently for I didn't a while, know about because it. this so stuff is all... I mean, All of these are in the can ready to go out, mm-hmm. too. Interesting. All right, let me... Just, okay, so basically, so far, I'm not doing are so Are they trying well. to no. race to Disney? Basically, so far, I'm not doing so Are they so trying well. to no. race to Disney? Are they trying to beat Disney? That's what... Well, I wouldn't say beat, but compete. Compete. How about this uh, show called Servant? And it's going to be directed by M. Not Shyamalan. M. Not Shyamalan. Oh. Ding, ding. That's all we know. That's enough. I'm interested. You're interested in that? Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Dickinson starring Haley 17th Century. So that's probably the one you saw. The one I saw. Does that mm-hmm. intrigue you at all then? Um, Emily Steinfeld. Isn't that what it is? Steinfeld? Is it Steinfeld? Steinfeld? Yeah. Did I say Seinfeld? I thought I said Yeah. I, so, well, I'm just Stein, saying. No, it's Stein. She was on uh, Bumblebee. Between Two Ferns. Oh, she was? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So but that's, it is Emily Seinfeld. I thought it was Steinfeld. I can't I, I remember. Thought that, that was, I thought it had a T in it. I thought that was Here's Jerry one that will get Eric, or Eric really going. Oprah. She's going to be Oh, able, yeah. I got to give me my Oprah. She's on. got some different projects she's gonna have coming Dr. out. Phil on there, too? Probably. <laughs> How about Brie Larson starring in a CIA biography series? I don't care for Brie Larson. Okay. So, man, there's nothing here you want to see. Penis gang are all in space. Are you making this No, up? I'm not you making, making that, that one up. up. No, that's You right added there. that in. Snoopy in space. That's all of them. And I didn't make Snoopy a single one in space. <laughs> I didn't make any of these up. Uh, Garfield on the moon. Is that worth five dollars a month for you? No, none of that. Oh, it is Steinfeld. I thought so. you were right. Steinfeld. I was writing on something. 
between two ferns. Uh huh. He put Seinfeld under and <laughs> underneath she, it. Yeah, it was great. So we're not getting apples. What I'm hearing. But, uh, <laughs> I'm I don't, not. I don't know, man. Um, I think they're gonna have a tough road because right? everyone's gonna get Disney. Oh yeah. And I did get my email for Disney, by the way. Did you guys yep. get that? Yeah, right. that's a good deal. Uh, not yet. 70 well, for the year? Did you go ahead and drop the 70? Yeah, I did because here's what I was thinking. I was like, I'm eh, waiting for my government check to come in. Well, I yeah, thought, hey, you're still getting Hulu, too. I was like, okay. Oh, Hulu's included? You get in that? Hulu and you get the ESPN app, too. So I'm like, I knew it had ESPN, but what like, do you watch on ESPN that you. Sometimes the Division Two football games and stuff like that oh, are on okay. there. So, gotcha. yeah. Oh, and stuff like that oh, on okay. there. So, gotcha. yeah. Oh, it's not Russ, like I'm like, what do you oh, watch on ESPN? X Games. Oh, X okay. Games, yeah. There you go. Figure skating. All right. Well, we'll that's our streaming <laughs> stuff Greco going Roman on. So. How about some casting news? And this dropped yesterday. Bam. Jeffrey Wright. Do we know who that is? Jeffrey Wright. Is that the guy who did the one-liners back in the day? No. No. He would know him probably from Casino Royal or most notably Westworld. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I know who you're talking about. He's just been cast as Commissioner Gordon in Was the, new, he the also Batman. Also in the Hunger Games? He was not. Yeah. At yeah. BD. Yeah. BD. B, BD. Yeah. B, yeah. BB-8. He's good. Yeah, he's BB-8. B- he's BB-8. Um, because what they could do is they name? could. Is it R I G H T or he's w- the guy that's in Cold Pursuit or W R I G H T? That Cold Noir movie that you watched. Yeah. About the oh, what wolves. Was... Wasn't that Cold Pursuit? No, that wasn't Cold Pursuit. Um, yeah, what was that? That was the Gray. The Gray. Yeah, yeah, about the wolves and stuff. Yeah. Um, I can't find this guy in IMDb. Why well, I'm not finding him? Is he Jeffrey or is he Jeff? Could be Jeff. It, yeah. In Westworld, he's like the main dude. You'd know him as yeah, soon as you saw him. But I think what's cool about this, this opens the character of Batgirl to be a different, you know. That could be very be a different, you know. That could be very cool. Yeah. Okay, Eric. Eric's not. He doesn't like what I'm serving him. Is what's I'm not, I love you, but I don't like what you're serving up. I, okay. I'm That's not fine. feeling. The diverse it. Cassidy. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So he's the. W- was I okay. saying it wrong? Yeah, yeah no, was Jeffrey. Wrong? Yeah, yeah, no, was Jeffrey Wright. I don't um, know how you messed that one up. I don't know. I just wasn't finding him on there for some reason. That's right. I thought it was J E F F E R E Y. How about this to go along? There's talks that Jonah Hill might be playing a villain in this role. Hmm. Don't know who, what villain, but they're eyeing him. Le Pew Pew Wong. Batman and the Batman. And the Batman. He's going to be playing Le Pew Pew Wong. Woman? Yeah. To be playing what is Le it? Is it Batwoman? Batgirl? Bat. No, oh no no no! no, no, no. We're no, talking about no. the movie so Matt Reeves Batman. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, so it's confusing because there's a Batwoman television series right. coming out that's going to be kind of that DC crap Fox yeah. or yep. um, no CW stuff. CW, yeah. Uh, but there's but now we're talking about there isn't. Oh, yes. I did not. I was not. This aware. is the Robert Pattinson. What Joker will be in it? God, I cannot I wait to see Joker. That looks freak out. Looks fantastic. so good. That's it looks so good. Awards. I'm afraid that that's gonna it's gonna inspire a bunch of people to go shoot up a bunch of films. I'm taking my gun oh, to a bunch not. of theaters and stuff like that. I'm you know what I mean? to the theater. I'm okay. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna sit behind both of yeah. you then. Are we gonna go see that together? We that could. would be a great idea. You like we did it too? Yeah. yeah. Well, we tried it to. It was, it <laughs> we was tried tough. to. <laughs> That well, was my the fault. Thing came, the damn didn't. thing was coming on at 8 o'clock on a school night, and it's three hours long. And no, my fault. Man, we can't be rolling in at midnight on a Tuesday. I'm not cut out for that Tuesday. I'm not cut out for that shit anymore. Me neither. But have you I guys have seen... Um, my boss is a dick. Yeah, he is a big ass. Um, <laughs> what was the movie Jonah Hill played where he was the gun runner? You guys remember God this? God of War? Uh, guns. Guns, guns God, America. Guns, Inc. No. God of War? Yeah. No, Gun of War was with Nick Cage. God of War. Was with Nick, but if he's the Jonah Hill we just saw on the beach bum, Fat I, he's going to ruin the movie. Favorite. Who? Do you remember that movie? Who do you think he's going to be? I think he's going to be the Penguin, Coswell, Oswald, Cos- War Dogs. War Dogs. War Dogs. Yes. Yeah, that's right. He was incredible in that. But remember, we mm-hmm. just watched that beach bum and how bad he took you out of the movie. He was so terrible. He was so terrible. Like that's my he wanted fear. to do that weird southern, that weird southern accent. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Okay. Baby, I'm going to get you what you want to get. I'm your manager. <laughs> I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. No. Yeah. How about this? Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell, already I'm intrigued, they're going to star in A Christmas Carol. It's a reimagining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already interested. Right, right. Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell together. They has haven't that, teamed up has yet. Has that ever happened Not before? yet. Oh. No. That, ought that to be is interesting. Good. You know who I'd like to see, too, is Ryan Gosling and Will Ferrell. I think that total straight man with Will could be very funny. Kind of yeah. like the Marky Mark. Mm-hmm. I think the Marky Mark's played out with the whole, anyway. But So that's coming up. 
So we just made Robert Downey Jr. will be back to play Iron Man in this new Black Widow movie coming up. Oh, now, cool. but it's just the voice, right? I don't know. I, the, my understanding is he's going to do the voice of a program. But this is set before all the, he died. Oh, oh okay. So I this, was not aware of that. Yeah, Black Widow is set right before the events of the right before the events of the very first Endgame, or before Infinity War. Okay. Because Taskmaster, the guy that plays Hellboy that we really like, David, gosh, From, uh, Hopper. Hopper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hopper. Yeah. He's he's a big. I can't remember. He's a character in this new Black Widow movie. Interesting. Um, but do you think that? I mean, she. Um, but do you think that? I mean, she finally gets her own movie, and then they bring in RDJ. I don't. Do you I think, think that she loves it? Do you think she? Like, yeah. Or do you think that? Uh, my thought was: Is this movie that bad that you have to bring in him? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I mean, they're. He's kind of um, the glue that's been sticking all those that's characters true. together. It gives us the credibility. Yeah. All right. How about this one? This one might tickle you. I want to see this. Vince Vaughn is going to star in a uh, comedy called The Binge. And the premise of this is picture the movie The, the Purge, but it's with drugs. So for 24, uh, so hours, for 24 hours, you can do whatever drugs drug you legal. He's gonna be. He's the. It's called the binge, and he's the main character. <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds it hilarious. Sounds it's fantastic. interesting. For me, it depends it's called on the which, Vegas. Which Vince the Vaughn do you get? If you get old school Vince Vaughn, if you get Four Christmases Vince Vaughn, uh, yeah. Uh, that man, he makes me laugh when he, uh, you know, laugh when he, uh, you know, it's like. Oh, I think that's definitely you're gonna get high comedy. I think that's okay. definitely what it's but gonna be. But you go give for. me the intern Vince Vaughn, I want to shoot myself. Right? Because it's just like everything's over the or top. Or True Detective need to be. Vince Vaughn, I like I, you I've as never a funny. Seen that. Oh, you haven't? Mm-hmm. You haven't seen the second season? It's, I thought he was good in that. You did? You didn't like him? Mm-hmm. You didn't like him? Mm-hmm. I just make me laugh, clown. That's all I think of when I see him. <laughs> <laughs> make me laugh, clown. Uh, John Farva announced that he would like to and is trying to petition Who? to John Farva? How am I saying that? Is that Brett Farva's brother? Yes. He wants John to make Favreau, a Favreau. John Favreau. Favreau. He wants to make a Favreau. The chef from the film chef. I knew exactly yeah. who he was talking about. Iron Man director wants John to Favreau. Make a Christmas special that's on Star Wars. Do you guys remember the first Star Wars Christmas I, I, special? I've never, yeah. I, I never watched it. I've never seen it. I have. Was it when did that come out? Oh, I don't know, like 83, 82, 84. Or something like that. Yeah. He wants to redo one. Well, that he would be should. fun. But you think he people should. would watch Go that? Go for it, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just make it silly. Yeah, it did over the top. What yeah, the first one even have? It and bring all the... I love John Favreau. I'd watch anything he's in. What you know, they talk about couples retreat, how terrible uh, that is. I love it. Because he makes the only good movie he's ever been in is Replacements. <laughs> you don't even remember a minute, do you? You don't even remember a minute, do you? No. He, wow. Was he like uh, the kicker? No, he was the main defensive end. Mm. That was all jacked up on roids, kind of. Remember that? No. No one remembers no. him in that. Hmm. Wow. Okay. No. Uh, the TV show Glow, which I don't know if Russ is into that one, has been renewed for a fourth and final Did season. Did you watch it? Has it been that? renewed for the fourth? Yeah. And that's the final, though. Have okay, you watched well, it? I that? watched the first two seasons. I haven't watched the third yet. I, I watched about three quarters of the first season I just couldn't get into it and I watched wrestling that glow wrestling when I was a kid really I, I, I just I what I is, think the characters in there are nice and quirky and I really like that main character okay. I used to watch that on Saturday mornings wow uh, I swear okay. I just saw a boob I do remember <laughs> when they when they were when they were rapping when they would do the rapping <laughs> stuff yeah, yeah I remember that as yeah. well you I missed it. You're too young. I'm too young for that. Yeah, I don't remember yeah, that youngster. at all. I think I was yeah. watching it even into high school, like the yeah. first couple of years of high school. I will say watching it even into high school, like the yeah. first couple of years of high school. I will say I definitely started enjoying the series more when they started wearing their full costumes. Oh, okay. As opposed to them just being working out all the time. Okay. Mm. Fair enough. I didn't get there. So the only last thing I got to go over the Emmys were the other night. We've got some winners. It was kind of boring. I did not watch it. Did you actually sit through it? I sat through. I was flipping between that and football. What did you so. think of uh, No Host? I, it didn't really speed it up, though, I thought. But okay. they gave more time to talk. Did you see the part about uh, Kimmel coming out and talking about being there being no host? No, I missed that completely. It, it, apparently, it was really funny. And yeah. it was like, next to you, will just have Siri, just have Siri or, or Alexa here in, introducing the thing. Uh, and the next person announced the was it Alexa. It was... The the funny thing, the two of the uh, Kardashians went up on stage and they pretty much got laughed at and I thought that was pretty funny. That's um, awesome. But mm-hmm. so let's talk about that. how about best comedy. 
Have you guys watched a show called Fleabag on Amazon or ever heard of it called Fleabag on Amazon or ever heard no, of it? No, I've, I've heard of it, but I haven't watched it. Okay. Um, that A lot of things, one that we've never heard of, or at least I hadn't personally, Fleabag, um, The Marvelous Mrs. Marvel? Miss Maisel. Maisel. The Marvelous yeah. Miss Maisel. Okay, that one. That's a period piece. That looks good. Uh, Chernobyl. Um, one for limits, Game yeah. of Thrones, one for drama, and everything else. Uh, it, that was the only two. It and Peter Dinklage took home, and that was oh, yeah. it. Um, best actor in a comedy. I thought I wrote this one down because I know we like Bill Hader right now. So Barry won. Nice. Oh, so the, nice. That was okay. good. You know, I haven't um, finished that series yet. I, I'm not. I'm having a hard time getting into it. Oh, I. Loved oh, it. I loved it. What I about? Know, I'm uh, liking it. But you got to get that. It's the best episode ever. Henry. Yeah, Henry Winkle. He was there too, and he got. He didn't win, but he was nominated. What about? Have you guys seen the show called Pose? Or heard of it? Um, you're not going to be into that. Okay, Pose. best actor in a like, drama, Bill Porter for Pose. What does that mean? I don't know what that show like, is. Pose is. Have you guys Pose? ever seen um, Paris is Burning? No. no. Paris is Burning? No. No. <laughs> no, about the underground Vogue dancing scenes with the <laughs> transgender people yeah, in yeah, New York City. I, yeah, I can I've make up words, too. I watched okay, that. Well, that's, that's what that documentary is about. And it's uh, okay. Interesting. I watched it in... Mm. All right. I watched it in 10th grade. It was an odd Treated. choice. It was an odd Treated. choice. I, I'm, I seriously <laughs> did. And so this... Uh, and this is about is a show about that? You see, neither it, one of us are going, no, it, you didn't. Yeah. It, no. it, kind of, it kind of takes place in that same universe. So okay. there's these, like, you know how Detroit has the underground rap battles? Yep. Well, in New York, the drag queens all get those oh, Vogue, okay. Vogue offs oh, dance God. battle thing. No, Why please. are we not watching this? I know. I'll probably watch it. How about the, well, this one you might watch. Have you guys seen When They See Us? Jerome, Jarrell Jerome um, won for a, Best Limited that's Series. That's a Netflix actor. one. It yeah. Is, yeah. Have I've, you watched I've, any of that? No, I haven't. I've seen what to say, what to call it. It's called it. Um, When They See Us. That's a, a lot of these got nominated. I'm like, I haven't heard of these, but they won a lot. So that's yeah. why I wrote these down. Um, this one made me excited because I really like Ozark and Julia Garner. She plays, uh, she's the curly hair yeah. blonde. She won for Best Supporting Actress, which I thought was cool. And she is in um, uh, the Americans. In um, uh, the Americans as well. She, you're talking about the young gal. Yeah, yeah. She's in the Americans. She's in the the last two seasons. What okay. was her name in that? In 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 the Americans? No, in in Ozark. Ruthie. Uh, Ru- yeah. Yeah, Ruthie. Yeah. Ruthie. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I'll have to watch that. Yeah. It's the the dad is is. Uh, Working her to be an informant. That's right. To, uh, I do so remember he's that. going in there and, and exchanging uh-huh. some kind of That's micro, micro tapes or something. That's such a good show. Bring back, bring back the Americans. Yeah, jerks. Um, but the the biggest winner that wasn't like that I watch. I don't know if you guys do. Have you seen last week? Watch. I don't know if you guys do. Have you seen last week tonight with John Oliver? Do you guys ever watch any no. of those clips? I've I've seen him on comedians and cars getting coffee. He That's cleaned up. Like, yeah. Anything he was nominated for, they won. Oh, that's I cool. mean, he cleaned up. Fleabag cleaned up, and then um, Simpsons won a couple, and then Game of Thrones won two. How are the Simpsons still winning Emmys? I, uh-huh. Can you just give us one, just <laughs> yeah. one? But those are the biggest ones I thought. But a lot Wait, of shows. Snoopy in space comes along. Snoopy in space. Oh. Garfield in the middle of the earth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an interesting little news bit that Let's I heard hear. about today. Do you guys know who Jared Padalecki is? No. He is Sam from Super. He is Sam from Supernatural? Okay. So the Winchester oh, yeah. brothers. He's the tall what one. What I read about him? He's going to be the Walker Texas Ranger. Yes, they're yes. Rebooting, I mean, that's what they're I read. rebooting Walker Texas what? Ranger. Now they're not calling it Walker Texas Ranger. They're just calling it Walker. Well, and what that was guy's weird, too skinny. That'd be like making me Walker. Well, he's <laughs> he's huge and thick. Really? The yeah. same guy we're thinking of, huh? He's yeah. from Supernatural, right? Yeah. So if you if you only saw the first few seasons, you did not see this guy. Eric could kick his ass. Morph into a giant. Oh, yeah. I could talk shit and then man. watch Eric kick his That's ass. Right. No, you want some of this Jared <laughs> Paddlefish? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The guy's like 6'4", 280, full of muscle. That's so am I. Eric now, take him. I thought, I thought the brother Dean, the other one, would have been the better choice <laughs> as kind of a Walker, Texas Ranger type guy. But they went with Sam. They went with the tall one. My dad used to love the that show. Moose. They called Moose. I read a little snippet that said... Walker Texas Ranger reboot, and I thought for sure it was those two kids. Walker Texas Ranger reboot, and I thought for sure it was those two kids from Ricky Bobby making their. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yep. I yep. was like, 
I'm Roundhouse. Like oh wait, that's really a, oh, that's really Walker. Texas. Yeah, and they're just calling it Walker. And I guess who's, he's a, who's doing this? Who's rebooting it? Like what I, station I is it? Netflix? No, I got it's gotta be USA. I this, and it was um, he is a long term undercover agent. Okay, whose wife recently passes away. And so he's got to come back to reality. He's got to come out of being undercover and stuff like that to raise his two boys. Hmm. And so he, he takes. And so he, he takes a day, a day job as a ranger, probably. But huh. let's let's not get it twisted. The main star of that whole series was the truck they drove around in. I really think Flat so. Out. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, like that, that truck. That, that Bronco. Are you forgetting the Chuck man. Norris? Yeah. Oh, who? What about the Norris? I have oh not heard God. of Chuck what about Norris. The Chucker? No. So this could be real good, or this could be real good, or this could be a one season thing. You know, I I just like that he's coming off that twenty two year run of Supernatural, yeah. and then at least got another job. Well, hopefully they don't go the route of they did with the Baywatch remake, and they actually do it right. <laughs> oh God, that Baywatch was sorry, Rock. That Dwayne. potential would be Dwayne, great, buddy. I oh know. My God. Yeah. That movie sucked. Now, that guy might be able to take Eric. I'm not saying he could. I'm just saying that'd be yeah. a fight I'd pay yeah. to see. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Seriously. Well, I'd pay to see that. So. Yeah. No, no, that I is all I the pay. news I have for this cold September night. It's it's, it's pretty nice out. Is it? Uh, is it? Um, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's September, right? Yeah. You wear a sweatshirt all summer, though. Yeah. 24-7. Yeah, I ain't got anything to add to any of this. Yeah, I think we're a little short on news. Yeah. Um, I was looking at to, to find movies and stuff to watch, mm-hmm. you know, to maybe to recommend uh, to watch this time. And all of the good stuff is coming out. Stuff is coming out at the end of yep. October, November, or early yeah, December. December. Right. So I think we're about to see a good run of really strong films right. and really strong news coming out of all this stuff. Oscar contenders, all the Oscar contenders so. and stuff yeah. were in there. So yeah, it looks Mr. Like, Rogers, Joker. What was that one that's that's got? I can't wait for it. Mr. Rogers. So I think that, that looks that's fun. looking really. Oh yeah, go ahead and give Tom Hanks that Oscar now. You think so? Yeah, I see too much Hanks there. Yeah, I'm I'm agreement with you on that. Yeah. I, I do Not see that. Not enough of. Uh huh. I think he's great in it, but I think you know, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll, we'll see. see. All right. That's, well, that's all the we news. Got. That's new to us. That's news. the news. Sorry. Yep. Well, let's all go to the lobby. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs>